In the school garden, there are four rows of carrots. There are six carrot plants in each row. How many carrot plants are in this garden? In this lesson, you will learn how to represent multiplication by using arrays. You know that a multiplication equation shows equal groups. For example, 4 times 3 equals 12 could be four boxes with three softballs in each box. That would be 12 softballs. We also know that an array is an arrangement of equal groups. Each group is in its own row. The rows go across the array. This array has three rows with seven circles in each row. The array shows three times seven, three equal groups of seven circles. There are 21 circles in all. Three times seven equals 21. Let's try to solve the carrot problem and figure out how many carrot plants are in this garden. The carrot plants are in an array. Each group is in a row. There are four rows with six carrots in each row. That means there are six columns. In an array, the columns go down. This array is four rows by six columns, four groups of six carrots. We can read an array from left to right to build a multiplication equation. So this is four rows times six columns. Four times six equals 24. There are 24 carrot plants in the garden. Some students think an array represents addition. This array has three groups of tomatoes with five tomatoes in each group, three rows and five columns. Three plus five equals eight, but an array does not mean to add the rows and columns. There are a lot more than eight tomatoes in this array. In an array, we can add equal groups or multiply rows times columns. So to show the 15 tomatoes in the array, we could add the groups of 5, 5 plus 5 plus 5, or multiply 3 times 5 to show that there are 15 tomatoes in this array. Here's a correct story to go with the tomato array. We planted 3 rows of tomatoes. There are 5 tomatoes in each row. 3 times 5, 3 rows and 5 columns. Here's our array with 3 rows and 5 columns of tomatoes. What would the array look like for the expression 2 times 7? The first number in a multiplication expression shows the rows. There are 2 rows. The second number shows the columns, so there are 7 columns. 2 rows and 7 columns. Here's one row of seven flowers and a second row of seven flowers. To write a story to match this array, we could think about having two rows of flowers. Rosie has two rows of flowers. There are seven flowers in each row. How many flowers does Rosie have? Rosie has 14 flowers. Two times seven is the same as 14. What would the array look like for four times eight? Here are three arrays. Let's decide which one matches that expression. Four times eight means four rows of eight columns. The array of cucumbers shows four rows and then a group of eight more, not eight columns. This is four plus eight or twelve cucumbers total. It does not match four times eight. How about the corn array? Again, there are four rows, but there are eight corn total in this array. There's only two columns. The corn shows four times two, four rows with two in each row. It does not match four times eight. How about the red peppers? This array has four rows with eight columns, four rows with eight peppers in each row. That's the correct array for four times eight. And it shows us that four times eight equals 32 because there are 32 peppers in the array. 
In this lesson, you have learned how to represent multiplication by using arrays.